Hello everyone, Sumacraft here, and welcome to Lightning Angel Letona Alicia, or Lich or something. I know, I'm having to do that off of memory because it, I can't see it anywhere in English on the title screen, but uh, whatever, whatever. It, I think it's a visual novel. Been a while since we've looked at another one. So, so yeah, let's, let's play. I think it might be like a sci-fi sort of thing, but I honestly don't know. Uh, I believe the same uh, people like translated and published it as uh, did uh, Lubu Maker, which we had fun with a little while back, so hey, why not take a look at this. Alright, game starts. Save the world, wow. Alright, yeah, let's go for it. Light rushes. A spear of white light brightens the darkness and shoots the light in all directions like a blitz. A weapon of this kind is hard to be seen in modern times, even in battlefields. The straight sharp illuminating spear dances in the air, striking attack after attack. Its opponent was a powerful fist of steel. Blocking the pouring white light, an impenetrable armor protects its wearer. It served as more than protection. While strengthen the arms and legs to parry attacks, it also enhances the eyes, making it possible to sense the opponent's every move. The moment the spear returned, the suit of steel stepped forward. Speed was the only thing that can fill the handicap of having a shorter weapon. Fancy footwork that made it possible to move a few yards distance in a second was faster than any professional boxer. But even the bolt-like speed was not enough to overwhelm the enemy. Like magic, the spear returns quickly. These acts were like bullets, defenses like lightning. But the speed of a bolt can't match that of lightning. Damn it. Though the attack was in vain, the suit of steel didn't give up. In a fight with bare fists against the spear, it's crucial to keep a close distance with the opponents. Determined not to step back, the suit of steel moves in further. The white spear doesn't run away. It defends the attack by turning its pointed head and shaft like a windmill. Clash after clash. The fight continues. Sparks ignite and fly in all directions. It is a tight match. The suit of steel is the ultimate weapon made with science. The white spear is the embodiment of an unknown, unattained technology in this world. Ugh. With similar fighting skills, concentration and persistence are what is left to decide the winner. The winner will be the one who can catch the opponent's slightest fault until the end. Wait, wait, Master, what are you doing? Suddenly, there is a sharp ringing voice that interferes. You should have gone in deeper, are you even paying attention? This... clear, weak voice seems to interfere with the battle. She has a longer weapon! If you don't attack timely, you will lose in a flash! Blow your body more! Keep an eye on her! Even the most useful device may or may not be helpful in the middle of this bloody, life-threatening battle. It is not worth paying even the slightest attention to this useless meddling. Wait, are you listening to me? Ignore, ignore it. Master, I asked if you were listening to me. Master? 
when? Oh. The moment that I couldn't stand, her and... The moment that I couldn't stand, her and shouted a flash of light glinted. I held up my arms instantly for protection, but the shock was strong enough to throw me a few yards backwards instantly. Damn it. I almost got her. See, I told you to be more careful. It, it was you. You made me let my guard down. I am in the middle of a battle. I am too. She keeps talking back to me. Her raised eyes on the operating monitor seems to tell me that she is mad. Don't you know it's not you alone who operates the Acro Messiah? You give it orders, but I am the one who controls it. I'm Echo, the world's best AI. She calls herself the world's best, but I call her the world's most talkative AI. I need your full cooperation. The essence of science and technology. Hero suit Akramasaya is whole by the power of us too. Who says we are one? Despite its noisy interference in my ears, I fixed my posture. Before my eyes, my opponent was staring at me. She had long, silky hair and a slender figure. She stood in an extremely natural posture with a long spear in her soft hand. Despite the fierce battle, her gem-like eyes did not have any excitement of the battle, but rather a pitiful look. Please back off. I don't want to fight you. The voice is soft and clear. The tension that was loosened slightly was pulled back again. Yeah, right. Did you really expect me to back off? I made my fists and stared at my opponents. Who would have expected this? In the woods remote from any town, in a dim morning fog, in such calm scenery, there is a battle between a hero and a magical girl. Power on. The electric current flows. Energy is charged, the light gleaming. Good morning, Master. Hmm? Sleepy. A small voice in my ears. It's morning, Master. Wake up. Hmm. The sweet and soft voice tries to wake me up. But now I am sleepy. I stayed up late organizing the research journal. It's morning. If you don't get up now, you'll be late for your part-time work. Mm. I will sleep until the next alarm goes off, Echo. Hey, wake up! You're going to be late! Uh. At its sudden screaming, I fell off the bed. Mm. Now you woke up, Master? Ew. It's 8 in the morning, Master. What? Surprised, I opened my eyes. Morning, out the window, the birds are singing. Wait, what time? I said eight. You're not being polite anymore? 
매일 똑같은 시간에 똑같이 깨워야 하는 내 입장도 돼보라니까. I'm sick and tired of waking you up every morning. You should be in my shoes. Where's the clock? I checked the time. What the hell? Echo, why didn't you wake me up? Seriously, what do you think I'm doing now? She sounded dumbfounded. If you don't like the way I wake you up, use an alarm clock. Hmm. That's not a good idea. I often sleep slept through the alarm clock. What's your answer? <sighs> Sorry. Please make me up as usual, Hacker. Okay, be careful, Master. A boasting small girl in the 3D screen. Although it looks like a human, it is not. A virtual human. A virtual personality that does not exist anywhere in the world. It is advanced AI, Acromissiah, with emotion and the same level of human intelligence or higher. I am Sharon Kissin, its owner. That makes me a great scientist who created Acromissiah, the pinnacle of modern science technology. What inventor gets scolded by his own invention? What did you say, Master? Nothing. I invented it, yet it doesn't show me any respect. Sometimes it uses polite words, and other times it doesn't. It acts as it pleases. They asked me to call it Akko instead of Akko Messiah, which I named her. It insisted that if I didn't call it Akko, it would not respond to me. I have no choice. Anyway, hurry! You'll be five minutes late via your regular route. What about breakfast? Can you eat in three seconds? So you basically mean no. No breakfast. After washing my face, I flung on my school uniform, scattered on the floor. Master, I always told you to go to bed early. If you don't, your life will be at risk. My life at risk? Don't exaggerate. Just say it's bad for my health. I couldn't tell, but I was organizing records of the research until late last night. <laughs> well, are you sure? What do you mean? I adjust my clothes and wear a bracelet. As I opened the door, the familiar landscape came into my eyes. I locked the door to the lab and carried my bag. On the way out, images and voices of artificial intelligence were following me. I doubt that you worked hard until late at night. No doubt, I sure did. Yes, you did until 3 a.m. What? Did she? Then as I turn my doubts into conviction, I hear a sigh. Master, I told you watching porn late at night is... <sighs> I almost slipped the handle of my bicycle, taking it out of the garage. Akko, did you spy on me again? Spy? You are out of line. I just did my duty to protect you from all possible dangers. 
preventing a computer from hacking is part of it. 연구소 메인 컴은 지금까지 쌓아놓은 연구 자료가 가득 들어있는 마스터의 보물이잖아. The main lab computer is your precious archive with a lot of accumulated information. I told you that you didn't need to take care of it. I said I would. I can't hear you. She turned her head away. The augmented reality made her feel real. You should make your password more complicated. Who makes a password by adding just the one to their initials? You use the simple combination of letters and numbers and characters. You've known my password. It's easy to get access to your computer because of your simple password. And by the way, why don't you first watch what you have before piling up more videos? That, that's enough. Stop it. More conversation only will hurt my feelings more. I raised my hands up to it in the screen. Okay, then just hurry up or you will be late. Whose fault do you think it is? I get on my bike. Uh, okay, be quiet. I'm afraid that I might lose my job this time for being late again. As I pedaled ahead, the lab was moving away. Master, as for now, we shouldn't use the regular route. Should I search a shortcut for you? I know, it's, it's not necessary. I ride my bike off the unpaved road onto the woods path. The lab where I live is made from a reconstructed abandoned warehouse. I call it a lab, but it's not a licensed lab. It's not even an authorized building with an address. The equipment inside is old and its maintenance expense are on me. Any financial support was out of the question. No public transportation to and from many towns. Because of its bad access to public transportation, I'm often late, but I have no other options. I'm the only staff of this lab. <sighs> the trail that follows the forest is a shortcut, but it takes a lot of energy and I soon start running out of breath. Hang in there, master. Be quiet. You're not being helpful. Echo, how many minutes do I have left? Don't worry, keep pedaling and you will get there soon. In time. Yes, if you pedal at the speed of light. You mean, I'm already late? The narrow woods path is calm. There's no hint of people around here. Is it because it is so early in the morning in a remote place? No one's watching. That's the case. Akko. Master, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I don't want to do that too much. Master, I know what you're thinking about now, but you shouldn't use it that often. I know nobody's usually around here, but somebody might see just see you. She says in a careful tone. That's unlike her. She's probably serious, but... It's an emergency. Equip me. Working over summer didn't give me enough money to maintain the lab. We really need this job. I tried to persuade Akko. 
뭐? 확실히 연구소 자금은 필요하지. I realize we need money for the lab. Right. I have leaks to fix and. 연구소 자금이 늘어나면 내 기능도 업그레이드 해줄 수 있을 테니까. If you have more money, you will upgrade me too, right? Dream on. 좋아, 알았어. 마스터의 위기를 못본척할 수도 없으니까. Okay, I can't turn my back on you. Swish. I felt something cold covering from my ankle to, to knee. Metallic and cold substances adhered to my body and beefed me up. 동조율 18%. 준비 끝. 충격에 대비해. Synchronization rate is 18%. Get ready for the shock. Wait. Are you done already? I couldn't finish my words. Next moment, my legs were already out of my control. <sighs> my legs pedaled a bike at an incredible speed. It's impossible. Humans can't pedal at that speed. If I entered a cycling race, I would easily break the world record. <sighs> Master, Master, stop whining! You're so noisy every time! Give me a break! I experienced it many times, but I never get used to it. I can't get used to it. It's beyond our imagination, the greatest scientific achievement. It made it possible to surpass humans' physical limits. The hero suit makes any person a superhuman. The name of the hero suit is Aqua Messiah, just like the AI. How many times do I have to tell you that my name is Akko? That's what you call yourself. I named you Akko Messiah. There's no rule that parents have the right to name the child as what they would like. There isn't, but isn't it common? Akro, Akro Messiah, is not a mere artificial intelligence program. She is equipped with the same level of intelligence as humans to fully control the suit. She has the same emotions as humans to protect the suit's wearer from making bad decisions. Akro Messiah is the central processing unit that implements Core to exert its superpower. For the record, its form being a girl has nothing to do with my taste. Isn't Akro Messiah a name for a rowdy male? It's not for such a beautiful girl like me. You're an AI. Why would you care about a gender? According to a recent trend, apparently gender is self-identified. It has a firm belief that it is a girl. Its original image was a blue sphere, but it had the idea to project what it wanted to look like. Now that its identity is firmly established, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, call me Akko from now on, Master. Or you could respect the name I gave you. It's better than accordion. It's Akko Messiah. It isn't any better. Imagine your name is Miracle Pop Pop. Imagine people calling you Miracle Pop Pop in school and you needing to answer that. Isn't that so embarrassing? Akko Masai isn't that bad of a name. Though a sophisticated program is necessary to control a powerful suit, I didn't need so sophisticated that it started fighting with me. We're almost there. I will speed up. With high speed, the wind whizzes in my ears. Fortunately, the woods path is pretty wide and there aren't many obstacles. 
we can keep that speed along before we meet the road. So. Also, it's not just about my name. You should care about me more. When are you going to start doing hero activities? Hero activities? You know what I am talking about. I am the core of a hero suit. I was invented to control a hero suit. That's literally why I exist. But you haven't done anything rem even remotely like a hero ever since you made me about a year ago. I know, but... You're not even a complete suit to begin with. It is the power of the suit that is reinforcing my legs now and running the bicycle. But even the superhuman speed is just a tip of the iceberg of the suit's full ability. The true power of the suit is unleashed when the suit fully covers the body, giving the wearer incredible power. Currently at most 20% of my body is covered with the suit, which is from my fingertips to elbows and toes to knees. I only wear some parts of the suit, not the full suit. The suit isn't complete because you and my spirit doesn't have a perfect synchronization rate. The higher the synchronization rate is, the more parts of your body will be covered. Said Arkmasai, or Akko, as if she was boasting. And how can we do that? It's easy. I am an AI for the hero suit, so if you have a real mind of a hero, that will increase our synchronization. Mind of a hero. That's big. It's the mind of a superhuman who would risk their lives for the weak and fight in the name of justice. Sorry, but I am not interested. I don't need to have the mind of a hero. I don't want to be a hero. I can't afford to risk my life for the weak. Oh, come on! You say that again. Why are you always like that? Don't you think it's cool to fight for justice with superpowers? Not really. I don't really get the idea of fighting for justice. Also, fighting for the weak doesn't always equate to fighting for justice. Are the weak always just? Not, that's not necessarily true. Just because they're weak doesn't mean you have to help someone. That's really twisted. Master, that's so dark. It's still morning. Yes, it is. But I'm talking about your dark personality. Yell? We're starting to see people around us. I'm afraid they might think I'm taking on speak talking on speakerphone on max volume in the streets. Such dark thoughts only decrease our synchronization rates. I mean Whatever. If you want to be here, think about reasons why you should help the weak. Uh... Akko, stop talking. I mean... I don't want to be a hero. 
I came out of the path sighing. The hero suits. It was not me who made it. It was my parents who invented the suit that makes an ordinary person into a superhuman, just like in superhero movies or cartoons. My parents were... a bit different. They were childlike grown-ups, crazy about superhero cartoons and movies, and were excited in collecting superhero merchandise. With both being the biggest fans of superheroes, no wonder our house was full of superhero stuff all the time. I did describe them as a couple of adults who lack a sense of reality, but they were also great scientists. They published a lot of papers in well-known journals and often came up on TV. A famous scientist couple with a hobby of collecting hero merchandise. The mere thought still sounds laughable. The funnier part is that their hobby became a reality. They invented actual hero suits in the end. There's not a lot of people today. I walked my bike on the way to work. My parents died of illness five years ago. Left my brother and me each a suit. This hero suit is what's left of them. But there's one problem. They're unfinished. That's clumsy for them. They're not finished products. The cores, the parts essential for controlling the suits, were missing. A core operated with an AI is necessary to control the suits. To make things worse, because the suits were my parents' top secret project, we couldn't get any technical advice from anyone. Without cores, they were just pieces of junk, but my brother and I didn't give it up. It's been two years since we started digging into my parents' research files. My brother completed the core first, and after two more years, I finally completed mine. The result was my core AI, Akramasai, or Akko as she likes to call herself. By equipping Akko into the, to the suit, I can now harness the power of my parents' legacy, even if it was incomplete. Maybe I'm more interested in superheroes than I think I am. No, definitely not. I shook my head. I just wanted to complete my parents' inheritance. I'm neither a child nor a superhero fan. I'm not interested in hero things at all. I cannot deny the fact that the hero suit is amazing. The suit is incredibly light and durable, while giving its wear superpowers. When not in use, it's compactly stored in a bracelet. Once deployed, a special substance combines with the wearer, becoming a suit. Not only the mechanism itself is surprising enough, but it also has the feature that the suit adjusts itself to its wearer. I'd even say it's something supernatural rather than scientific at this point. Actually, I don't have a full understanding of this suit. I can't even make the most of it, with the synchronization rate being below 20%. I kept researching my parents' notes when I can, but... I wish my brother was with me. I sighed a little. My brother, who completed his core two years earlier than I did, disappeared that very night with a completed core and suit. He didn't leave a note or a letter for me. Where on earth is he? I have no clue for that. <sighs> Deep in thought, I forgot to see ahead of me. Screech! I stopped the bike barely in time to avoid a crash. In the middle of the road was an unfamiliar girl. I'm sorry. The moment I apologized, I stopped my words. What is this? What kind of person wears clothes like these in this time of day of the day? She was wearing a short skirt and a top exposing a lot of cleavage. Knee socks and tight boots. They are very revealing, but not suggestive. The clothes rather looked very foreign as if she was 
A magical girl? As soon as I said those words, her eyes started gleaming. Um, are you a warrior? Excuse me? What? Are you from Yggdrasil? Uh, I'm listening to this girl, but I don't understand what she is talking about. Warrior, Yggdrasil, what is she talking about? I'm from the Valhalla Union too. My name is Lishe. Uh, I get that her name is Lishe, but that's still not getting me anywhere. Um, excuse me. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what to say next. Then the girl opened her mouth. Got to the wrong person. I'm sorry. She hung her head with a gloomy look on her face. She looked so disappointed that I felt sorry for her. Maybe that's why. I shouted to stop her walking away from me, which is something that I usually wouldn't do. Wait. Yes? Are you looking for someone? Maybe I can help you. She shook her head at me. It's okay, thank you, but... She hesitated for a moment with a serious face. You should run away from the city. What? Run away, as far as possible, please. She walked away and disappeared amongst the alleys. Huh. That doesn't sound good. That sounds kind of foreboding. What is a superhero? It is a protagonist of many movies and cartoons. A superhuman being who saves the world. They fight for others and people admire them. They use their superpowers to protect civilians from beings of evil known as villains. But little known fact, there are other characters aside from heroes and villains in the story. It's the helpless, normal people who get saved by the heroes. Most of them either suffer from villains or fight back only to be saved by heroes in the end. Here is a question I have about the story. Are these normal people really worth saving? Ordinary people are mostly just there to be tormented while they barely become any help to the heroes. Worst case, some of them put heroes at risk to help villains or become villains themselves. At the expense of heroes risking their lives, they just enjoy their peaceful lives. I wondered many times, why do heroes, with their incredible powers, waste time and effort to save those people? Who? Time to call today. Exhausted, I sighed in relief, getting out of my workplace. My hero suit isn't helpful to working part-time at a convenience store, especially when it requires me to be social. What took you so long? Akko! She seemed uh, in a bored voice. When there are people around us, she doesn't talk to me because her existence is a secret. But the moment I become alone, she goes back to being talkative. I had to work overtime. You, you work two hours more? Did they pawn the work off on you? Well... They do this to you because you don't get along with others. I paddled my back in silence. I was never really social. I feel shy to start talking with others, and I don't know how to start a friendly conversation. 
no wonder I have no friends. I'm an outsider, so it's not rare that people shift their work on me. Master, Master, do you know that the people who are not going to be able to do it? Master, why don't you learn how to make friends? I don't feel like it. I at least I am not harming anyone. Master, you are going to be a p But it's harming you. I don't think so. I'd rather work overtime instead of getting stressed from socializing with people. Your problem is that you don't socialize well with others. <sighs> Humans are lonely from birth to death. I think those who can't enjoy being alone are weak. I am right. That's your problem. I go sounded sick and tired of me. Master의 가장 안 좋은 점은 말이야. 바로 그런 식으로 자기 상태를 합리화해 버리는 거라고. 조금은 바뀌려고 생각 안 해? That's your biggest problem. You always justify yourself like that. Have you ever thought about cha changing that a bit? Leave me alone. I have tried to change, regardless of her advice. But people only accept a change that suits their standards. For me, a person who doesn't understand those standards, there isn't much room to change. You should really stop thinking like that. By the way, Master. Do you remember that girl? The girl we met this morning. Ah. Uh, the weird girl. She was just like a magical girl and told me to run away from the city. Wasn't she funny, the foreign girl? Was she foreign? Her hair and eye color does make her look foreign. But what foreigner wanders around in broad daylight in a weird costume? Echo, are you thinking about her? Of course! She's a magical girl! A magical girl. I guess she did look like one. She looked amazing! Her cosplay was perfect! Akko, do you know what character she cosplayed as? I guess Akko knew it because she said it was perfect, but she, sh she shook her head. The thing is, I don't know. I have no idea at all. Really? I should know if it's from a magical girl show. Aiko is the biggest fan for Magical Girls. She has watched and read all kinds of Magical Girl series from major to minor. There cannot be any Magical Girls that she doesn't know. Not that she's an actual human enjoying it. You are a hero suit AI. Why would you be crazy about Magical Girls? Why? Are you discriminating me because I'm an AI? What's so wrong about liking cute magical girls? No, but I think a hero AI should like heroes rather than magical girls. That's such a shallow way of thinking. With a tisk, Akko shakes her head. I am a hero suit. The suit is me, and I'm the suit. Why would I be interested in something I already am? Magical girls are cuter and prettier than heroes. 
it's only natural to get attracted to cute and beautiful things. That doesn't make sense to me at all. So the bottom line is that you just like cute and pretty things. I should have talked to her this morning. We could have been good friends. Like a friend to talk about magical girls with? Yes. I'm speechless. The girl. Was she simply a girl who dressed like a magical girl? Some parts seem suspicious. Her words like Yggdrasil or warrior were out of context. <laughs> Maybe she was role-playing. Against a total stranger early in the morning. That would be a real random joke. Also, look on her face. Are you from Yggdrasil? I don't think it was a joke or some roleplay. I could see the desperation in her, in her eyes and facial expression. But I wasn't so sure either. Ah, are you interested in her too? No, I'm not. But... It made me feel like I was making excuses. Huh. I was on my way home, and at, the, and at the place where I thought I met the girl this morning, it's her. She was there. Her red eyes, silky white hair, and unique costume stood out even from the far distance. It wasn't difficult to recognize that it was her. Identification complete. It's her, Master. Yeah. But something seemed wrong. She was surrounded by several men. Hmm. She looked puzzled. They didn't seem to be her friends. They were smirking at her and didn't seem to care about how confused she was. She seemed to be in a bad situation. Database check complete. Master, identified. You mean that girl? Did you find out who that girl is? No, I couldn't get her. Identified the men. A number of windows with their profiles popped in front of my eyes. They are about your age, but they are not scientists. They don't look smart, and they don't look like people with fine personality. Save your personal assessment. So, you're saying they are not good guys, right? Most of them don't go to school, dropped out or expelled. Some of them even have been charged of violence. Basically, your typical thug. Where did she learn the word thug? But that wasn't the bigger problem here. Do they look like friends? I doubt that. It seems like they were flirting on her. What now, master? In the distance, I watched them flirting with the girl. Coincidentally, there's no one around. A girl is in danger, surrounded by bad guys. It's the perfect situation for a hero to jump in and save the day. But unfortunately, I'm not a hero. Akko, can I eavesdrop on their conversations? Okay. No problem. After a moment, I was hearing their conversations through my earphones. kidding I'm serious you should escape from this city it was the same voice I heard this morning then oh really that's the problem we can't just run from crisis can we 
why don't you tell us more about it? The tone of their voice was the obvious, even cliche, mocking tone of a delinquent. His voice sounded like he was swallowing a laugh. What I'm saying is true. If you don't escape, you no, this whole city will be in danger. You need to escape from the city as soon as possible. Contrary to their voices, the girl's voice was desperate. It was just like this morning. She was both puzzled and serious. Hey, is this girl okay? I think she's insane. Nah, she's fine. This is actually better. Just bring her along. We're beating them down, right? Wait. I stopped her. Again, I'm not interested in being a hero in a situation like this. Nowadays, getting involved in situations like this can create misunderstandings and get you falsely accused. So, in this situation... Okay, call the police. What? Master, are you serious? Yes, I am serious. I took out my cell phone. We don't need the police. We can take care of it. Sorry, but this, this is a job for the police. More importantly, I should avoid a troublesome situation because I conduct secret researches while living in an unauthorized building. Are you really not going to help her? Why did you even make a hero suit? I said I'm not interested in becoming a hero. Better ignore the talkative AI. As a democratic citizen, I'll leave it to the police and get out of here. You're just going to leave a girl in danger like that? This is why you're behind your brother. Your brother completed the core faster than you. If he were in this situation, what do you think he would do? Akko... He touched on a nerve. I stopped taking out my cell phone. She is right. My brother was always a step ahead of me. He was more intelligent and creative. I was no match for him. Most of all, he wanted to become a hero. Unlike me. Okay. Master? Equip. The suit word. A bracelet transformed into a suit. A special substance seeps into my arms and legs and empowers them to put forth incredible strength. You're doing it, right? Just check the situation. Now that's the spirit! I can hear their conversations become louder. You should come along with us! Wait! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, come on, we know you like it too. Please, let go of me! She tried to shake off their hands. They forced her to go with them. Ready? Okay, synchronization rate at 20%. I'm about 60 yards away. They haven't seen me yet. So strike first and I won't have a problem. With my suit, I can reach them within a second. There's three of them. Half a second for each of them should be enough. Speed up, knock them out, and disappear in a second. I don't want attention, I just want a quiet life. Here I go! I spurt. The explosive speed shortens the 60 yard distance down to zero in the blink of an eye. Good, here goes my first blow. In that moment... 
What? What is this? A flash. A white flashing light blinded my eyes. It was so dazzling that I couldn't see anything. Uh, Echo? Uh, uh. Okay. Echo operated the suit before I finished my words. The part of the suit covering my legs moved up to my face and made a visor covering my eyes. The visor covered my eyes, clearing my view. What just happened? Uh, my eyes meet, met her eyes. Somehow she was staring at me through the dazzling light without a problem. W wait! Before I could say anything, the girl ran away disappearing in a flash just like when she appeared. It was nighttime, but the lab was lit like daytime. No one turns on the light in the lab while we are out, but Echo is connected to the lab's power system. It's a type of remote monitoring system. While Echo is out with me, Echo can operate the laboratory's internal equipment freely. But considering that home monitoring systems are common nowadays, this is nothing special. Oh, it was already pitch dark outside because we took a detour on our way back. With the heating system already on, hot air warmed me. Echo, who was she? Echo didn't answer. It basically means I don't know. Results from analysis? Nothing. I didn't have time to take a sample or even a picture. Her identification? Unidentified. There's nothing. Do you have anything else? Nothing. I'm at a dead end. So we don't know who she is. But there is a clue for sure. A huge amount of dazzling light emitted the moment I jumped into safe. Light wasn't anything like a camera flash. Do you think it was something for self-defense? There's no self-defense product that brightens the whole place like that. That was something clearly abnormal. A phenomenon that is clearly unlikely to happen in that place. It's like... Magic? I pictured the girl I've seen earlier today. The girl anxiously went around dressed like a magical girl, a magical girl from an anime or manga. If there's anyone that could do that, then it's no. She can't be. Magic can't possibly exist. I guess her clothes did look like a magical girl, and those clothes were pretty skimpy. Zap. Ah! What was that? Can you please not have curvy thoughts about the girl you just met? You're just going over the facts. No, I didn't! I haven't even started it yet. Then you were about to, weren't you? No! I wasn't going to! How could you read my mind? You are naive, Master. You do know that I can scan your mind, right? Give me some privacy. Damn AI. I didn't know what to say, so I decided to avoid it. Master, where are you going? I'm just going to take a look around the lab. Stay here and recharge yourself. Okay. You aren't going out to find that girl, are you? What made you think that way? I ignored its 
cynical remarks and went out. It was pitch black outside without any street lights. The lab in the small woods is far from any living district. No one lives near it, so it's usually dark at night. We moved to this remote place after my parents retired. Both of them were working on a confidential project for a big lab, but retired in the middle of it. It wasn't like a retirement, more like a... That doesn't matter anymore. Though they were great scientists, they didn't end up well. They were sued for some sort of breach of confidentiality, and ended up paying large amounts of compensation. They lost most of their wealth because of this. By the time they passed away, this unauthorized building with its interior equipment was all they had. This is what the greatest scientists in the country left to their sons. It was laughable. My life hasn't been the best since they passed away. Some relatives became our guardians, but they weren't in the state to support us. My brother and I couldn't make money at that time either. In addition to our financial difficulty, we had no one to take care of us. It was a time when we had to worry about something every single day. But that was all just the past. It's getting cold. I should go back in. It was when I was about to go back. I heard a rustle. I turned my head around at the sound. Am I just hearing things? No, I wasn't. Someone walked out from the woods. Slowly in towards me. It was so dark in the woods, I wasn't able to see the face. Is someone there? What? The black silhouette didn't answer. It was walking somewhat awkwardly with its upper body slightly bent, making it look somewhat grotesque. It was coming close. It came out of the woods and approached me closer. Something was strange. I still can't see it well considering the distance. I can't recognize a face or even if it's a man or a woman. I can only see its grotesque silhouette. The next moment, on its way here, it stops walking, seeming like it realized me. Uh, I felt my heart beating faster. It has four limbs walking on two legs, but it doesn't look like a human. First, it doesn't have any clothes on, but its whole body is black. Even at this close distance, I can't see the parts of its face. What? No, that's no human. There was no face. The body was black, and the claws that came out of the hands and feet were as sharp as those be of beasts. Moreover, it had many stitches over its whole body. Ugh, it's a monster. Before I could scream that something was already moving toward me. Tens of ropes with hooks, rather tentacles, came out of its body and coiled me so fast that I couldn't run away. Ah! I couldn't resist and fell on the ground. A, a monster. It's like a giant, grotesque. There isn't anything I could compare it to. As far as I know, there's no animal with hooked tentacles like that. Ugh. It began to draw me towards its body. Pulled me so tight I couldn't budge. It dragged me. It dragged me again. When I got close enough to its body, I finally was able to see more than a simple black look. Ah! I, I got tongue tied. Just before my eyes, is a monster. A disgusting, huge body, numerous stitches all over the body, flaming eyes on what seems to be the face was glaring at me. Akko! With my lungs pressed hard, I couldn't say any words. I need to call Akko. I feel like vomiting. I can feel the monster coming closer to me. 
it was so ridiculous that I couldn't help laughing. This can't be real. Just a few minutes ago, I was in the warm living room, but now I am here, caught by some cheap-looking monster. I am the inventor of the hero suit. The inventor of the hero suit was going to be gobbled down by a monster. How funny is that? <laughs> I guess it's true, that overwhelming fear just makes you laugh. Or I went crazy because of this monstrous thing. Before I take any action, maybe I'm going to die laughing like a fool. Huh? The next moment a light flashed on my eyes. With my eyes blinded by the light, I could only what was going on. Explosive light kept pouring into my already fully dilated pupils. The monster, radiated with cascades of light, let out a bizarre scream of distress. Ah! This light, I remember it. The monster was erased from existence, letting me able to get myself on my feet. I didn't feel heavy pressure on my limbs anymore. <laughs> I'm glad you were safe. I just was gawking at her in silence. She was a grass earlier today. It's one who was wearing a strange costume and talking strange words. It's all okay now. You, you are... I am Liche, a magical girl from Yggdrasil. Liche? I mumbled her name. I tried to say something, but nothing came out. A spear shining by the dim moonlight. Her balanced body shape with slim arms and legs. And on top of that, her crystal clear eyes with straight gaze. She is too beautiful to be a person of this world. Good sir. But not aware of my thoughts for her, the girl looked at me for a while. Please escape from the city as soon as possible. She said with desperation in her face. Indeed. You know, I think that's probably a decent spot to end this uh, video, this first look here. Uh, to, uh, I honestly forget what this game is called. Uh, it's what, like, uh, Lightning Angel Latona Alicia, I think. Uh, yeah, an interesting visual novel. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's got the typical tales shop thing right this is tales shop i believe of uh having kind of a somewhat stilted translation although not to the point where you can't understand what's being said uh but the character dynamics seem fun uh, a good little bit of mystery and intrigue i'm curious to see where this is going uh interesting combination of like uh kind of almost iron man sort of type archetype of superhero combined with like magical girls yeah I, I, I'm not sure if that's particularly unique, but it certainly seems somewhat interesting at least, and uh, I'm curious to see where this is going. But uh, anyways, guys, if you want to see more of this game, then uh, be sure to share your support with likes, comments, subscriptions, all of that sort of fun stuff, and we very well could continue. But until then, guys, I've been Seamcraft, and I'll catch you in the next video with our more... Lightning Angel Eternal Liche or something else. Goodbye.